Hello, guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today, we're going to be going over uh, one of the new uniques for the Druid, which is called the Dolmen Stone. The Dolmen Stone is uh, kind of crazy. Um, it What it basically allows you to do uh, is kind of convert boulder into a spinny spinny, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, this one does drop uh, all the time from Duriel. Duriel is the special dropper for the Dolmen Stone, and um, it's got some pretty decent stats on it, too. Let's go over it together. Uh, this one is a 925, upgraded five times. Uh, it does have the 28.5% resistance to all elements, but all amulets have that now, depending on their item power level. So nothing special there. Uh, it does have 1,310 maximum life on it, which does vary between 605 to 1,310. And it does have um, resource regeneration on it, which is kind of a crazy number. 7.6 uh, to 18.5%. And this one is 16.9% resource regeneration. Um... It also has 16% nature magic skill cooldown reduction, so 10.3 to 20.2% nature magic, which means it's going to help reduce the cooldown of, for instance, Boulder, which is what you're looking at. Uh, it has ranks 3 to 4 on the uh, Wrath skills, which Wrath skills include, of course, the um, entire tree here. So you get uh, Hurricane, Boulder, Rabies, and also Trample. You get plus 4 to all of them. The special effect on this one is casting boulder while hurricane is active will cause your boulders to rotate around you, druid only. Um, and uh, basically, when you normally cast boulder, it just looks like this. Kind of looks like a turd, to be honest. Um, as you can see, it kind of has a long cooldown. Um, and uh, once it's gone, well, it's just gone. Right. Um, however, if you have the dolmen stone on, when you utilize boulder... Well, it still does the same thing, right? But if you have Hurricane active when you use Boulder, so you have to have Hurricane active first um, when you use Boulder, then the Boulder spins around inside the Hurricane, uh, which is pretty darn cool. Now, utilizing a couple different methods, you can very easily spam this. Um, and one of the easiest ways to do this is to utilize Nature's Fury. Um, combined with uh, the symbiotic aspect, uh, which I currently still have on, and a couple other interesting things. Now, if you utilize the right aspects with this, you can very easily end up with some ridiculous cooldown reduction. So, for instance, I'm spamming Claw right now um, through the use of the Crone Staff, which is going to give me a cooldown reduction for Boulder. So, if I utilize this right, I should be able to spam Boulder at a ridiculous breakneck speed. Um, this allows me to have like an insanely large numbers of boulders just spinning around me constantly so that I'm just spamming the ability. Now you do have to keep Hurricane up to maintain this spam, but as you can clearly see, they stay up for a little while. Like, it's not like they go away instantaneously, and as they spin around you, they dish out some pretty decent damage. Um, if you want to utilize it a different way, and this is a whole other way that you could do it, is um, instead of utilizing Boulder as a Wrath skill, um, you can get the Aspect, which converts it into a Core skill. Now, it is important to note that if you're utilizing the Nature's Fury method of spamming the Boulder, um, it does not work with the Core skills... Um, by spamming Hurricane. So Hurricane no longer will trigger Boulder because Boulder leaves the Wrath category when you utilize that aspect and it becomes a core skill, which means that you have to spam another core skill to cause Boulder to proc um, or, you know, basically reduce the... Um, well, you can't reduce the cooldown anymore because it has a, a, a core cost, right? So it's much harder to spam over here than it is to spam over here because you can reduce the cooldown relatively easily by utilizing the Nature's Fury symbiotic aspect along with the fact that you get free casts from the Hurricane and so forth and so on. And it ends up being uh, pretty interesting damage-wise. Now, some people have said that this is very similar to a uh, Hammered In, and I don't really see that. 
Uh, so I'd like to talk about that for a second in regards to the Hammerton thing uh, from Diablo 2. So first off, hammers are stationary, meaning that they do not follow you, uh, which is something that the boulders definitely do. They follow you, uh, which is one big difference right there, right off the top of the bat, is that, well, the hammers just spiral outward in a circle and continue outward. And if I were to move over here, the hammers would continue to spiral over there off the screen. They don't follow me everywhere I go. Um, number two, the hammers have a particularly long range and can actually hit monsters at a particularly far distance of, say, for instance, where the training dummy is right now. Um, you could probably hit him with the trailing edge of the hammer, the last part of the hammer as it comes around. Whereas with this particular build, there's no way that boulder's ever going to hit that target unless I'm within basically melee range. And that's basically what these dolmen stones are, or these, yeah, these dolmen stones, is they're basically melee ranged items. Um, you could potentially set up a sort of a ranged character to reset the skills. Um, if you wanted to, you could potentially utilize um, wind shear. So if you utilized a wind shear, you could potentially reset the boulder skill by using wind shear. <laughs> as you can see. But then I'm out of range, and the boulders aren't hitting anything, and they're not doing any damage, right? So that doesn't really help out very much. Um, this is a, a, a silly thing about this, is that you very much so are kind of like a melee character while utilizing the Dolman Stone. Um, it makes your character into this close-ranged fighter where you're trying to make sure that your boulders are hitting the target, um, you know, all the time. It does have kind of like a negative consequence of pushing the monsters back, which is a little annoying. Um, not necessarily the greatest thing in the world. And I, I, don't, I don't particularly like the whole fact that it pushes the monsters away from you. Because, of course, you are, as I said before, kind of like a melee character. It does kind of force you into an odd situation of, look, I'm a melee character. Why are the monsters being pushed away from me? This doesn't make much sense. Um, let me go chase them down. It's like having knockback on a melee character, basically. And it, and it doesn't feel good. It's not, it's not particularly you know, amazing. Uh, there is some flavor text on this. It's, as the hateful mob beat on his door, he gripped the pulsing shard tightly and screamed for calm. When he opened his eyes, all that greeted him was silence and the blood-smeared ruins of his cottage. Mm. Uh, all in all, though, I think the Dolman Stone definitely adds some interesting <laughs> alternative uses for Boulder um, to the character. I don't really think Boulder got a whole lot of love prior to the Dolman Stone being added, and uh, now that it actually has this crazy freaking unique item to go along with it, a lot of people are playing around with the, the, the turd druid. That's what people have been calling it, the turd druid, because it looks like you got big big turds spinning around you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty funny, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, it doesn't have movement speed on it, which is unfortunate. I'm really... Um, kind of on the fence on the whole movement speed on the amulet thing, but I do feel like the lack of movement speed on an amulet does hurt, especially if you're a character that's particularly slow. So if you don't have any other way of getting movement speed bonuses. Thankfully, the wolf, which is you, probably what you're going to play with this, does have his own movement speed bonus. So while you're in werewolf form, you get a nice little movement speed bonus. There's other ways you can potentially get some movement speed bonuses. It really kind of depends on um, how you have your character set up. But you will probably need to compensate for the fact that you don't have as much movement speed on this character as you do on others. Mm. I think it's a pretty well-crafted item. Um, unfortunately, though, I do think it falls into a trap um, that a lot of the older uniques were falling into, which is it's very specific. If you're not using Boulder, if you're not using Hurricane, um, it's not a very good amulet. Um, I mean, plus three Wrath skills can be gotten on a rare amulet just fine. Uh, the Nature Magic skill cooldown is okay. You can get the life also 
I mean, it's not really super duper amazing. It doesn't have any any special thing on it that would make me want to put this on if I wasn't going to run Boulder or any of the other abilities. So it's a very niche item specific to that build of the Druid. Um, if you're not going to be doing that build of the Druid, well, you're probably not going to be interested in this amulet. Uh, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we are just talking about a green crystal shard called the Dolman Stone. And uh, as always, keep watching.